Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about blocks with partial seam construction. And those are those blocks that you can't really tell where the seams start and end. They look difficult, but they really are easy. And I thought I'd just walk you through putting one of these blocks together so you can see how simple it is. If you haven't subscribed already to the YouTube channel, you can do that now. And now let's get started. So there are a lot of different partial seam construction blocks, and those are blocks where you sew the seam part of the way before sewing another seam, and you come back and finish the seam that you started at the end. Um, but the simplest way to show you is to use a simple square and rectangle block. Now what I've done is I've I've done my partial seam. I've sewn from the outer edge to just about halfway down. So you can see that um, my seam is not sewn all the way. But by sewing that partial seam, it finished this side enough so that I can sew this next piece on. Um, and I'm going to show you then um, the next step of the way. So then um, once you do that, you can sew this piece on. And I have a sample. Um, so we've gone from this step to this step. So now we still have that partial seam. We've sewn the next piece on. And now our next step, you can see that now this side is wide enough that we can sew this rectangle on. So that'll be our next step. And this is what that looks like. So we've still got that partial seam, the first piece that we sewed, the second piece that we sewed. And now we'll be able to sew this red piece on Okay, so got the partial, our next seam's the red, and now this is, this is where you finish your block. You've got all those seams, you've still got that partial seam, but now that you can see that now this is the right size, that you can just simply go back and finish that seam. Um, I usually start from here and sew out. Finish that seam, press it, and you've got a partial seam construction block. You really can't tell which one you did first and which one you did last, but it's just a simple technique. A lot of patterns have, um, have you do this, and sometimes I feel like people are a little bit confused as to what that really means, but it's simple to do and it'll open up some more patterns for you that you can sew. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the partial seam construction block. I feel like it's something some people don't understand. They see that in the instructions and they're not sure what it means. It's a simple technique and it will open up some more patterns that you can create now. And if you're looking for a pattern using this technique, I do have a quilt in my Sunday Best Quilts book that uses this technique. And I'll link to the book in the description below. I think that's all for today's tutorial and thanks so much for stopping by.